Welcome to the One Choice for Your Store tutorial, Add an Item. The first step to creating a new item in Store Editor is to go underneath the section that we want our item in. For instance, in our store we want to go into Frog Clothing and from there we want to create an item underneath Ladies Clothing. Now we are at the screen that we need to create our new item. So now we will click on the button at the very top called Item. As usual, we're going to start out by inputting the name of our item. Remember that within the Yahoo store, every page must have the name filled in. Next, we're going to put in an image. Image is everything. Your images are going to help you sell the product, so make sure your images look great. To upload our image, we're going to click on the Upload button. And next, we're going to click on the Browse. If you've uploaded images to the web before, you pretty much know how to do this. It's the same thing. We're going into our folder, and we're going to locate the image for this particular product. Once we locate our image, we're going to click Open and then we're going to click on the button to send. This will actually add our image to this item page. Next we're going to add in an item code. This you might get from your manufacturer or if you're creating your own products you'll have to create your own unique code to help you keep track of inventory. Next we're going to fill in a price and maybe even a sale price. Now as you can see we're typing in our options and people get very confused with the options. But I want you to also notice that underneath where it says options, it says what's this. And by clicking on that link, it will give you more information about entering in your options. You may have also noticed that underneath the options, we see writing in black. Now, this is also helping you to understand your options and how to input them in. For instance, when we wanted to enter in the color light blue, we had to put quotes around light blue so that Yahoo understood that that was one color. If we had left out those quotes, it would have put light as one color and blue as the other. Those quotes let Yahoo know that is one color and goes together. Let's continue on. Now, in the caption field, we're going to enter in our description. Again, remember, you're entering this in not only for your users, but also for the search engines. Try to think about who, what, why, when, where, and how when you're writing your content. Try to write unique content for each and every item in your store. I know this sounds like so much, but try to take five products a day and rewrite your content if you've received your descriptions from a manufacturer. This way the task doesn't seem so overwhelming and you'll be able to get it done. After we filled in everything we're going to click the update button to look at the new item that we have created. Now notice in our options we want to make sure everything looks good. This is an area that gets messed up a lot of times, but everything looks absolutely perfect here. So we're going to click on ladies clothing and look at our new item next to our other item. And if we needed to add additional items on this page, we're right back where we need to be and we can click item on the above button.